Hi there vapors, this is Rory from vapingliquid.com and today I'm going to do a video on comparing atomizers. So many people come in the shop and ask me about different atomizers, I thought I'd do a little video here and just so you can see and compare them yourself. We're going to start off with the old um, Ego tank style system and we'll end up with the new Hang Sen CR5 Pro Mini Pro tank it's actually called so about two years ago many people were using this it's an Ego tank system and quite laughable now to be quite honest with you and if you're still using one of these good lord let's get in the 21st century and move on shall we um, these used to, well they still do of course, they have a little tank as such and this tank you flip the cap off the bottom yeah not very easy is it Let's... like so fill that up with liquid pop the cap back on dear me Now you can tell why we don't use them anymore. Anyway, <laughs> when the caps pop back on, fits in there, and away you vape. Obvious problems, doesn't hold very much liquid. And of course, you probably won't be able to see in there, but the atomizer head sits in there. And the more you push on and off the atomizer head, the tank, the bigger the hole gets in this plastic bung here and um, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and eventually all the liquid just leaks out the bottom quite laughable to be honest but they were good in the day thankfully we've moved on so the next one i'm going to show you is called the ce4 atomizer now lots and lots of you will have seen these and used them and to be fair they were quite a revolution when they came out um, you probably see a lot of these now on market stalls or, you know, internet auction sites where you can buy an electronic starter kit for like £9 and you charge the battery up three times and it's dead and you use the atomizer four times and you've got to throw it away. Um, these CE4s, yeah, they were good in the day, again. They filled up from the top here problems with them were well the atomizer head sits at the top and it has you can probably see that a long stringy um, cotton wick couple of those they soak up the liquid and take the liquid up to the atomizer head often resulted in quite a burnt taste when you uh, held the button down and took a drag uh, and the other problems were plastic here glued onto the metal base there people unscrewed them from the battery like so and it broke the seal and they started leaking everywhere again if you've bought one of these recently throw it away go and get something else because they really are a bit of a waste of time vast improvements were made actually with the CE5 um, very very similar looks very similar differences are the CE5 although um, the atomizer head is based at the top yet again and you do get the old burnt taste um, they had a changeable atomizer head so you hold it there unscrew it at the bottom like so and this atomizer head unscrews and you can replace it so you didn't have to throw the whole thing away once the atomizer head burnt out but again um, Atomizer at the top, the wicks need to soak up the liquid, drag it up to the top. People didn't unscrew it like this, they held it there, started unscrewing it, and look, this one's a brand new one, and that already spins around. Really, if you're still using one of these, again, you know, move on. Um, the technology's moved on these days, and people are still selling these for silly prices, but in my view, pretty rubbish in comparison to what we've got today. Next one, H2 Atomizer. Now, I love these. These are really, really good. But like all atomizers, they're not without the faults. The beauty of these is 
you've no separate mouthpiece at the top so you can't break that or snap that off the atomizer head itself sits here right at the bottom so can you see the small cotton wicks there at the bottom they're always soaked in liquid you never get the burnt taste from these they are really great that's why we still sell them today again when you undo this always hold it at that metal band there don't start holding it here and unscrewing it you will break the seal between there and there and it'll start to leak so please hold that metal band unscrew like so pull out and there's your atomizer head now the big mistake that people make with these is there is actually a little rubber seal sat slap bang in the center when you push that back in it catches slightly so if you force it your rubber band will come off it'll be out of place and liquid will start leaking out so when you take this out and in like so just do it gently or if you see that the band has fallen off there just put it back in place before you screw it on again a great atomizer slight drawback well when it's on the battery sitting like so it can easily snap and break it's not a very strong metal base here even so they do give um, a slightly more harsher um, vape I would say than the newer metal ones and it depends if you like a smooth vape or if you're more a fan of a harsher throat hit if you're a fan of the harsher throat hit stick with these these are great now recently these Kanga style pro tanks have become very very popular indeed they're very similar they oops sorry very similar they unscrew at the bottom here and I can't even get this one off well, not a great demonstration but they do they unscrew at the bottom atomizer head sits at the bottom and I've only one bad thing to say about them this silly slit here that shows you how much liquid you've got in it well okay you take a look at that and I'm looking at it now and believe it or not there's liquid in there the problem is you just can't tell how much liquid you've got in it and imagine when you sat on your couch in front of the TV in the evening and it's the lights quite dim you don't know how much liquids in it it's terrible it's really really bad I love these so I first went out to the pub and tried filling it up and I couldn't see a damn thing I had no idea how much liquid I was putting in putting in it should I say and consequently I overfilled it and got a mouthful of e-liquid when I went to take the vape shame about these really really good but close but no cigar as the saying goes finally I'm going to move on to the new Hang Sen C5R Pro this is a mini pro tank um, I think it's the Kanga mini pro tanks very very similar very very nice design very solid this again has a bottom atomizer it's always soaked in liquid atomizer head what I like about this also as you can probably see it's got a seal there around the bottom and it's got on the atomizer head itself if we can get a bit of focus yeah we've got two seals here as well they simply don't leak fantastic they fill like most bottom filling atomizers liquid down the outer here don't put your liquid in that hole in the center because that's where the vapor comes from and the good thing about these is they're solid that big metal base there when you've got it on your battery it doesn't tend if you do this with the likes of a CE5 or CE4 it just snaps whereas these are very very strong and durable a much smoother vape than the H2 for instance again personal choice smooth harsh more throat hit smoother more smoke but definitely these two are the way to go we do still sell some CE5 atomizers but we'll definitely be phasing these out because they're well past their sell-by date now 
and we've moved on. Your choice for standard tanks, Mini Pro Tank H2. Thanks very much for watching.